Hello, nice people. This is the famous Park River Bravo One Knife. Pretty thick. Nearly six mil thick. Pretty high grind. This combination makes regular radius convex geometry. Hmm. I think this knife is mainly for batoni, splitting wood. Six mil is just right from my experience to split wood. Regular convex geometry is the best to split wood in my experience. Wood splitting. Convex geometry. Convex geometry touches the wood just a single point on the both sides and this 6 mil thickness separates wood largely. I think this geometry is basically for splitting wood. And this geometry hmm, is nice for boning animals, games, hunting. This is bone. Convex geometry. This portion slightly floating from the bone. This portion is floating from the bone. Therefore, this edge moves, moves forward without biting the bone. This geometry is for hunting. Hunting, splitting wood, and uh, I live on a very cold island environment. Four months in a year, from uh, November to March, it always snows, snow piles over two, three meters every year. Therefore, fire making is critically important in winter survival. Feather sticking is critically important for us to survive severe winter when a large quake attacks us And nature survival situation is the same. Feather sticking is critically important. This geometry does not make a feather stick, stick properly. Hmm. Very similar picture here. It's biting angle. This biting angle is fairly large. 
And uh, to feather stick, we need to move down the edge in this direction. And uh, mm, this large surface is touching the bone surface, sorry, wood surface. So, this long line takes resistance from the wood. Therefore, we need to put larger downforce against this pressure from the wood. And we need to uh, move ahead the blade downward. You know. Two, three powers are combining all together. It is difficult to make a thin feather, curl up thin feather on it. Thin feather, difficult. In practice, it is prone to making a thick feather. I know that. This is not a very good feather sticking geometry. It is not a very good bushcraft knife for us living in a snow country. Convex geometry is not very good for our bushcraft survival purpose. Scandy geometry People might say this is not scandy because of this high grind. People might say it is saber grind, but I uh, want to say is this flatness. You know, you can see flat mirror reflection on it. Flat bevel. Mm. First, with the splitting. Flat bevel takes larger resistance from wood, in my opinion. Touching line is larger line, not a point, a line. Different from convex geometry. Therefore, I don't think this is a very good wood splitter. And uh, hunting. For hunting, you know. This point does not flow up from the bone. Therefore, this point bites the bone and it takes resistance from the bone and doesn't go ahead easily. It is the reason for easy chipping of the genuine scandy uh, bevel. Therefore, for hunting, it needs micro-convexing. Micro-convexing, just the apex portion to float the apex. Maybe you can see. micro bevel makes the apex floating. Here. Therefore, zero scan D needs micro convexing for hunting. And uh, feather sticking. Mm. People say this is the best geometry for feather sticking, but I don't think so.
Wait a second. This bites wood directly at the single point. So, to control the edge movement to downward is difficult. It is prone to going ahead into the wood. No uh, bouncing power from the wood. Therefore, it bites wood the best, the easiest. But to keep the angle and control the angle to the end of the feather is kind of difficult. You know, I uh, maybe already explained these two geometries. What I think the best geometry is this one. Please look at this mirror reflection. Not completely flat. My hand sharpened flat geometry is slightly convex. This is very nice to make feather sticks you know this side has the same geometry higher but small convex nearly flat and this side regular radius convex this is hybrid geometry for hunting This apex floats on the bone and go ahead easily on the bones. Hunting geometry, this side. This side, uh, feather seeking geometry. This one, on the both sides, has feather seeking geometry. For righty people, like I am, it's good. This side, feather sticking. This side, hunting. Hybrid geometry for righty people. This doesn't have a hunting geometry. For hunting, shallow, too shallow. But for lefty people, good for bushcrafting, for feather sticking, this geometry. Last explanation is this geometry. Mm, I don't have a new paper here. So, shallow convex geometry. Large, very large radius. I mean, this radius, very large radius convex. takes a bit stronger resistance from the wood, this area. This one, no resistance. So, prone to go into the wood. But this small resistance is right to control the blade direction downward easily. This small radius convex geometry takes much resistance from the wood. Therefore, we need to put down force strongly, not easy. Scandi, zero scandi geometry bites wood too deep, not easy to make feather. This large radius Nearly flat but large radius 
convex geometry, it's very easy to make good feathers. This is it for left hand people, right hand people. Nice. This geometry, right hand people, good for feather sticking, good for hunting. My hybrid grinding, for me, this is best. But for generally, this is the best. This is too sharp. You know, it bites too deep. It doesn't bite. I'll show you. Look at this easiness of feather sticking. This side nearly flat. See that? Look at this easiness of feather sticking. Scandy. Bites easily, but gradually goes deep like this. Gradually goes thicker feathers, not the same thickness. It is prone to biting gradually deeply. I don't like it. This geometry does not bite wood. So I need to put stronger downforce this direction. Therefore, as you can see, almost impossible. and makes this wood side concave. This is not a good feather sticking knife at all. Mm. That's all, maybe. For righty people who needs Feather sticking, hunting, this is the best gem. For many people, lefty, righty people, this symmetrical, slightly convex, hand ground, scanty geometry is the best for bushcrafting. This is wood splitting geometry and hunting geometry as well. For lefty hunter, lefty this grind will be a hybrid grind. But if not, lefty people will need two knives, feather sticking and hunting, hunting convex, feather sticking slightly convex. Scan. This is my hybrid uh, grind for variety people. I like it. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.